come down and take advantage of those specials. Hal Ross, owner of Ross's Diner, thank you for joining us on Carter's Bill Uncut. Thank you. service up here in white how you doing john i'm doing great how are you john's uh summer's coming up i'm thinking about doing some fishing i have not uh, fished at all since i've been here in three and a half years can you get us started show us what we'll need well do you want to go with basics or do you want to go with an upgrade in between in between in between <laughs> just to show us how, what will we start with well we take first of all we have to ascertain basically the knowledge level of the customer and uh, do you consider yourself proficient to use maybe a bait caster, or do you want to stay in the open face? Probably an open face. Okay. That's okay. what I'm used to. Very good. Come follow me. I'm going to follow you. Okay. <clears throat> we can give you some different ranges. Okay. Uh, we can use, we can do price points from anywhere from about eighteen up to about four hundred dollars. Wow. So we're going to put you kindly in the middle okay. and uh, put you into something I would call middle of the road, okay. somewhere in the uh, $100 range. So uh, we go with a Shimano brand, which we feel is the number one brand in the nation now mm -hmm. because of a lot of things, service, quality, uh, dependability. Uh, but uh, the key thing for us being a service organization is, you know, service after the sale. So uh, we want you to be happy, and, and so we're going to put you in a quality Shimano uh, Sahara reel today. And we're going to put that, we're going to team that probably with a, uh, with a dial or rod because, of again, we, we feel like we're giving you a lot of quality for your dollar. It's a nice looking rod and reel right Thank there. It's a nice looking setup. Thank you. Uh, Kindly and all around, we're going to fit, fit you into a medium or a medium heavy. Uh, on this particular one, we're at a, on a medium power rod, which is going to allow you to fish for both brim, crappie, bass. Uh, it's, if we call anything an all around, it'd be, an, it'd be in the medium heavy range. So that's where we're going to put you. And uh, an outfit like this, with line, uh, everything you need, you're going to come out somewhere in the 120 range. Now, what, what kind of bait would I use for something like that? <clears throat> well, if you're going to go for crappie, you can either use live minnows or you can use jigs like you see behind me on the wall mm -hmm. uh, or a combination of both. Uh, are you going to be fishing for the bank or are you going to be fishing from a boat? I don't have a boat, so from the bank. We're going to go from the bank. So probably you're going to go with live bait this time of year. Uh, you're going to get more reaction, uh, probably quicker bites. Uh, with, with artificial bait, you know, you want to move around a little more. You want to chase the fish. Uh, when are fish biting right now? Is there a certain time of day? Well, uh, with the weather we've been having for, you know, for the past week or so, Kind of an all-day affair. Uh, of course, biting the, the bite usually is much better around daylight, up to, uh, up till the sun gets up pretty high. Uh -huh. uh, again, late in the afternoon, probably from seven till you know eight thirty. Uh, as as usual, we're uh, getting into tournament season in in our area. So on our lake, we have a lot of night tournaments. Mm. Uh, so these these are the guys that are out there every week, you know, sometimes two or three at nights a week. And, uh, but the bite, the warmer it gets, the more it'll go to lean toward uh, night fishing. It, it, where would you recommend I, I just go fish right now? Well, if I were sending you out of here, uh, send you a couple of places. If you okay. want to stay local, I'd probably send you down off Red Top Mountain Road uh, to where they have uh, got a fishing finger, what we call it, which is a rock uh, abutment right off of the, uh, just before you cross the bridge. Uh, a lot of structure has been placed around it, uh, which holds a lot of the bait fish. Uh, makes it a good place, easy accessible 
uh, whether you know, even for the elderly, that they can get out and, and enjoy an afternoon. What's a fishing license cost nowadays? Nine dollars. Good for one year, I guess. Good for one year uh, from the date of purchase. All right, tell everybody the name of your business and where they can find you. Nutter Rod and Reel Service, and we're on Highway 411 in downtown White. Thank you for joining us on Cartersville Uncut. Thank you. Right now I'm with Heather doing a woman on the street interview. How you doing, Heather? Pretty good. How are you? I'm real good, thank you. <laughs> how long? How long have you lived in Cartersville? About five months now. What brought you here? My family. So you Work. decided. So you live with your family. No, I moved out. I live in my own place up here in Somerset. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Are you paying the bills? Yeah, I'm paying the bills. I just gotta get a car. Oh, you don't have a car yet? Mm. -mm. How long have you been without a car? Oh, about eight months. Boy, that's tough. How do you survive? I guess you live close. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good exercise. You're, so you're getting more exercise than the rest of us. Yeah. What so, is... what do you think of Cartersville so far? Oh, I don't know. There are any more things to do around here. Well, how old are you? 22. What kind of things would you like to do? Any more shows, more venues around here to do like, shows. Like what? What do you think we're missing here? I mean, you you've been to the. We're missing a metal music scene. A metal music scene? <laughs> yeah, we are. You'd like a metal music scene? Yes, it's crazy in Kentucky. It's wild up there. They have all kinds of music. Here it's not, and we're closer to Atlanta than they are. All right, explain to me what is a metal music scene. You don't listen to metal? No, I do not listen to metal. It's just like a country music scene. That's what they have going here. But it's metal. Is that but where they metal. do the headbangers? Yeah, that's they... where you see all the metal kids around. The metal oh, on their so you faces. Like... <laughs> oh, you like that? Yeah, I like that. Do they wear all black, stuff like that? or well, Some of them do. Some it, of them it's just, black. are they a safe group? <laughs> I wouldn't say safe. They're kind of rowdy. So you'd like a little more rowdiness here in Cartersville? Yeah, I'd like a little more rowdiness. So somehow we need to encourage those people to come to Cartersville. Yeah, we need to bring them out. Call them all out. We need more, what do you call them again? Metal? Metal heads. We need more metal heads <laughs> in Cartersville. Yeah. In Kentucky, they had those. Yeah, they had them there, all kinds of them. Well, man, I, I hope somehow we can bring him to Cartersville, and then, <laughs> then Cartersville would be complete to you. Yes. Well, Heather, it's be. been fascinating <laughs> meeting you. Thank you for uh, coming on Cartersville Uncut with us. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>